Hey everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Clicks. I have my doggy pool all set up by my door. Um, and I'm not gonna show my face because I got the camera all set up here. There's a little more natural light, the shadow, that's my head. <laughs> um, I'm going to do show and tell for the one I'm about to do in the last video. I'll tack both on to the end of this video so you can see it. Um, I'm re-pouring over this this thing was like a year old, I think. It, it was sitting in the varnish slash resin stack and I never touched it, which I think I mentioned before is always my clue that, yeah, you really don't like this painting. I really don't. So it's a goner. Um, I did the same thing as last time. It stuck to the, to the um, paint right there. I made a back so it's waterproof. And I can reuse it, which is nice, because I just peel this off. The paint just peels off the exterior um, waterproof tape, um, painter's tape. And you can reuse the, um, I have, this is foam board, um, to cover up the cavity. That's what I'm using. And you just give that a press, and voila. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm using mostly um, golden fluid acrylics today. I think I have a couple Amsterdam colors and a Utrecht. They'll come up on the screen. Um, and if there's time, I wanted to do a couple flipping lips and spin those on um, two 8x8 um, level 3, the deep gallery wrap canvases. They, are, they were gently used as well. Hold on one sec. I did one last night off camera and spun it out. I see, and I got this guy that I'm in love with. So I want to do it again um, on a chunkier canvas. This was with the iridescent paints. It's it's like my little stepping stones. I kind of am in love with that. So yeah, we'll do that after this big guy. Yeah. My daughter's all grumpy because she usually hangs out in our family room and watches her iPad and I booted her upstairs. <laughs> She's like, Mama. I'm like, sorry, honey. All right, I'll start with our paint. Give it a mix, make sure the GAC 800 is mixed in really well. And we'll pour some of this on here and give it a spin. Spread it around. And maybe a little dollop there and over here. Like that. Oh yeah, that was a good one. Alright. Stop that. Let's go like this here. And here. Mm, kind of, it's one they're kind of thin. I'm gonna give a little dollop. Oh, there's a big hair. I'm shedding. It's right there, and we'll go ahead and put our puddle in the middle. Like that. Alright. Oh, it's a shadow. Not too bad. Can you guys see it okay? Turn it like that. on the tarp. All right, first color. I'm going to go with cerulean blue. Do I need a cerulean blue? No, I'm going to change it. I'm going to go with a green, a light green from Utrecht. Just giving it a good mix, show you guys my consistency. Same deal as last video, where I added a teaspoon of water to make it a little thinner to spread. So let me get that in the middle, like that. Let's so, um, stick that on the floor over there. And let's do there's cerulean blue now. Okay, 
and I have some I put PB and I don't know what that stands for now <laughs> that's terrible it'll come up on the screen under the colors because I broke PB on this it's something blue um, <laughs> and I don't know what it is <laughs> oh god all right that color and then I'm gonna put uh, this is some shade of violet on top of it and then this is I know what this one is this one is interference violet because I wanted to have one's iridescent blue I think but it's a P what does that stand for? That's gonna drive me nuts. Uh, and then finally some teal. Let's give that a mix. Right there in the middle of all that. Oh, I like that. That looks great. All right. Cell activator. Uh, Oxide black is gone, so this is carbon black with a strolling flow trowel. And it's kind of a little bit thinner, uh, slightly thinner than the paint, so it's going to sink, so I'm going to have to go quick. We'll see how it does. Maybe it won't. I'd be happy if it doesn't. All right, let's give this a blowout. better blowouts for sure. I'll give that a second to sit. Um, I'm going to blow in the middle of that and put my ponytail on. See how he's keep it on my wrist. We'll give a little puff. If you blow too hard in the middle and go down to the house paint, you're going to get white cells. So it's a balancing act of puffing hard enough to get cells to appear without puffing too much to get white cells, unless you want white cells and then, you know, you can go to town. I'm putting my hair in a pony heel. All right, get down on my knees. Let's turn this a little bit closer to me. It's selling up pretty well all on its own, but let's help it along. I did a good job of not going all the way down. I'm uh, I'm gonna actually give this like five minutes to collect because I can see it like pulling all into the middle. So I'm gonna turn the camera off and just let it chill out and then I'll come back on and uh, we'll give it a spin. See you all in right, a minute. you guys, I'm back. It, uh, it did a great job of collecting in the middle there. And um, there's still gonna be some wider black areas. Let's see what that looks like. It's a really pretty bloom like that, though. It's really pretty uh, Dutch pour. I took a picture of that. It was like, oh, that looks pretty great. Loving the color scheme. And all right, we ready? Let's give it a whirl.
and let it do its thing. Slow down. reach underneath oh my gosh best one yet y'all I'm only gonna spin this the other direction uh, and then stop because it's glorious <gasps> it is glorious oh my gosh okay which way did I just spin did I just spin now I can't remember I probably went this way because I'm a lefty right yeah? So what I did? All right, let's go. Let's go this way. I can't remember shit. Oh, oh that just smudged it. Oh my gosh. See what I did right there on the end? That's gonna come off though. If you're gonna make a boo-boo, that's the place to do it. I must have went this way, so I wanna go this way. Oh my gosh, that was wimpy. That was the wimpiest little spin ever. I don't know if I need a big spin though. Did I fix my boo-boo? I did. Let me stop and stare at this. Really though, like, I don't know much, how much more I wanna do to it. Oh, let me stop it so I can get out of the way, shadow. It's gorgeous. I don't know if I like that, that deep purple there. Um, I like it now, cause it's gorgeous. I'm worried about what it looks like when it's dark. So I'm going one last time. I like this when it does this um, blending of colors here. Oh, and this is gorgeous. Last one, I promise. Like jump through the, your TV or phone and smack me if I spin again. just to get a little more paint off. And I'm just gonna let that go a second. And then, yeah, that's enough. Don't screw this one up, Karen. Ta-da! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's gorgeous. Let me, um, you know, my drying table's like two feet away. So, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, is that gorgeous. Steady enough to move it. I will hold it up for you guys to see. And then I just splooge paint all over my arm. And then uh, we'll do the little guys. Come on. So oh, I'm going to have to pop the camera off because it's kind of hard to hold it and show you guys. We'll do show, I'll show you at the end. Hey Let guys, it's Karen. Easy. I'm sorry about the way that last video kind of just faded off and ended. Um, I was going to do, or I did do two little ones. They really didn't pan out and I ended up scraping them. So I thought, why make you watch that and make a really long video? Um, you didn't miss anything, trust me. So let me show you um, the results of the last video, uh, 211, where we did um, a painting in the doggy pool as well it was this guy here this is the one with all the pbo paints i hate it <laughs> i like hate this painting um i don't know i feel like you know i look at i look at this and i keep buying pbo because i look at the color in the tube and i get all enamored and it's all blingy and I have mixed feelings about blinginess, which I talked about in this video. And um, the gold totally overtook the painting. Like it just totally dominated. Um, I don't like the composition and I just don't like how washed out it looks. It just, you know, the colors. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's some like amazing lacing and cells and bits in here. Uh, Maybe I'm just being picky pants. I don't know. You guys let me know in comments, but not a fan. The only thing I do like is the edges um, where I taped it, which I'm glad I did. Because if you look at this, see how faded it is? So when it came down the sides, 
it was really washed out. So this just, it would have looked awful if the whole thing had been like that. Um, but otherwise, not my best is how I feel. You guys tell me. And then, uh, so the results of this video, I've been around the block with my emotions on this one because I loved it when I did it. And then um, when it initially dried, I hated it. And then I realized that subconsciously I was, um, my color choices, we have uh, winter cabbage in front of our house that I walk by every day and they're like pink and white, like a pale pink and white, or they're purple and green. And um, I think that's where I got the colors from. So I'm calling this my cabbage pour. And so here it is. And I like it again, cause it's just, when I, when I realized it was um, inspired by my cabbage, it just makes me smile now. Uh, let me hold it back like this. There it be. Um, I love how it is blingy, like in the purples and the blues. I don't know if my camera's gonna like it very much. Um, yeah, my camera doesn't like it. Um, and then the green doesn't have that same bling and it's nice and soft. So it's my little cabbage painting. It needs to be in somebody's kitchen somewhere because I don't know. It's just, it just makes me smile. So, um, I think I might resin this one too, even though it's, uh, on a 16 by 16, I think I am going to resin it. And, uh, yeah. So, and like I said, you didn't miss anything with those two little guys. So that's why I cut the video short and, uh, I hope to paint tomorrow, which is Sunday is when you'll see this video. So that's all I got. Uh, you guys take care and, uh, I'll see you soon. Peace out. Mm-hmm. <laughs>